Hi guys, my name is Ayla. Welcome to my channel. I am making this video of this kind of dark Valentine's Day look. Um, don't get me wrong, love pink and red. Big fan. But I always do pink and red makeup. Actually, let's rewind. That's a lie. Lately, I have not been doing a lot with my makeup at all because I've been working a lot and I'm a waitress and so like I try to keep things a little more simple and understate it when I'm at work so I don't like jar the people that come in uh, but I haven't done anything really nice and dark in a long time so I decided to do that today for you um, I hope you guys enjoy and see you in the next clip I already have my skincare on and my primer which is the no pore bone prime essence I'm going to take my painterly paint pot and a brush. This is a e.l.f. concealer brush. Um, all, all the brushes I normally use are dirty, so we're at that point where I'm just going to start using brushes that I don't normally use for things for things until I decide to clean my brushes. Okay, I'm going to make sure it's nice and padded out with my finger. Now I'm going to take the Beauty Bakery Translucent Setting Powder. I'm just gonna take what's in the lid and set my eyebrow and my brow and like right here, cause I don't think I want it to be super strong there. This is just gonna help things blend a little easier because there's already gonna be a powder over that sticky base. It also helps mattify my eyebrows from all my skincare. I'm gonna be taking the Violet Voss I Love You Forever palette. And I'm gonna do a kind of a date night look. I think I'm gonna take the shade Infatuated. And I'm just gonna get whatever that is off my eye. I'm gonna tilt my head back. I'm gonna take my brush. I'm gonna hold it at the very end. So I have light amounts of pressure. I'm just gonna kinda place this color where I want it. So that way when I blend it out, it's, it's in its spot. Because I didn't set my crease, the color is gonna be darker there than it will be in the places around once I blend it out. I'm gonna take a separate brush with nothing on it. Again, I'm gonna hold it out at the end. And I'm just gonna blend until I'm happy with it. Now I'm gonna take the same brush. This is one color. This was the shade Infatuated. I did one color and I blended until I was happy. Now I'm gonna take the shade Charmed, which is this dark brown, and the same brush, and I'm just gonna pat it first in the place where I want it, and then I'm gonna hold my brush out and blend, and don't worry, We'll fix any mistakes with a clean, fluffy brush. Okay, so I accidentally went over into the crease on this side, so I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side to make it even, because if you make a mistake, in my experience, the easiest way to fix that mistake is to make the same mistake on both sides fix it the same way. That's how I do it to keep myself from going crazy because if you want something specific and you're not capable of doing it for whatever reason, your hand shaking, you're having a bad morning that morning, or you just, for whatever reason, I mean, sometimes your hands just don't want to work. Your hands don't want to be steady. So... And also I think sometimes we make mistakes and sometimes mistakes end up being exactly what you need to do. You know, you, makeup isn't serious. I mean, like in some cases, I'm not saying if it's your livelihood or 
I'm not saying there aren't reasons for it to be serious, but on a day-to-day -day basis, just putting your makeup on, you're gonna have days where it's not gonna work out and that's okay. It's perfectly fine. Nobody's mad at you if your eyeliner isn't like perfect. I mean, I'm not mad at you. Maybe somebody's mad at you, I don't know. But I'm not mad at you. Now I'm gonna take a flat brush and I think I'm gonna take the shade All of Me. I also have this shade, which is Olive Glow. I don't know. Let's see this one. That one's pretty. Can you see them? That one is Olive Me, that's Olive Glow, and that one was the major spotlight. I'm gonna use Olive Me because that's the color I like the best, but. I knew it was going to be the color I liked the best anyway. That's why I said I was going to use it originally. And then I'm just kind of taking my flat brush and patting it on. I'm gonna take another itty bitty tiny brush that has nothing on it and I'm just going to Go into my crease. I'm gonna keep packing this on until I'm happy with it. put my eyeliner on. I used the KVD Beauty Eyeliner, I the Tattoo Liner, and the shade Trooper. I, if I'm being honest, recorded myself doing my eyeliner and I just, for some reason, could not get myself to like make them even. So, I'm back with it on. We're going to delete that footage because it was, I mean, it took me way longer than normal and I think it's because I haven't recorded myself doing anything in a long time or in a couple weeks so please ignore that I'm very sorry I'm gonna take the <coughs> Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand in the shade Sunbeam I use this every time I do my makeup um, this is one of those products that like I really didn't think I was gonna love but I do love um, I like to do the like Huda Beauty um, you know, put highlighter on your face and then cover it up technique, except I only put it in the center of my face because that's where I put my concealer. I also usually take it out on my cheekbones a little bit, but, um, that's where I use concealer. I don't use foundation. I just use concealer. So put it in the spaces where concealer is going to go. This is a new product for me. This is the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Light Peach. I also have the matte one in the shade Light Peach. They are not the same shade. Um, the matte one is so much lighter than this one, which it's fine. I mean, it's a workable shade, but if the, the matte one is like your perfect shade, then this one is gonna be too dark. Just like this one is more my shade than the other one. So the other one's a little bit too light, and that's okay. I still like this concealer. I like this concealer better, um, just in application-wise. Like, I don't know about the wear, because I bought the other one. I realized very quickly that, like, how I kind of sat this on my face, and I went around and blended it. I couldn't do that with the other one. It dried so fast. It's one of those products that you gotta work really fast with. And I feel like I don't work slow, you know what I mean? So I just, I would like to try it and give it a better shot and everything, but it was just, it's just maintenance, it's just so much. Like, I, and I guess if you use matte concealer all the time, like you're used to that. I usually use pretty creamy concealers because my skin's dry, so. I don't know. 
Also, I know that this wears pretty well for me. Don't know about the matte one, but maybe I could do a wear test or something. I'm using the same powder I always use. This is the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Powder. I use very little just to kind of set my concealer. Bam. This brush is for cream products, but I have been using it to, sorry about that. I have been using it to apply my powder and then using my big fluffy brush and blending it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this shade Cymbeline in the Lovecraft Beauty Bronzer Trio. I don't remember what this is called. Um, I got this palette a few years ago and I'm kind of trying to not buy a ton of makeup I'm trying to kind of get through what I already have this is a product that I have pretty continuously liked so I'm trying to get through it this year see see how like it's up there we blend it it's gone. I also like to hold this brush pretty far out. As I'm blending because I just feel like it, again, I just feel like it helps. I feel like holding, I mean I know it helps. I know because I have a lighter pressure on the brush. But I just feel like if you have a problem with blending powders out, then this is like most likely the problem. You're putting too much, you're not putting it in the spot you need it, and you're not holding your brush out. Like see, I have, I have to get this blended. Bam. All right, and then I have one last place I got a contour, which is my big old forehead. And when I contour my forehead, I pretty much just lift my bangs up and I kind of just go across in the center. And then I take my big fluffy brush and I blend it out into my hairline, into my forehead. That way, once I see like the shadow kind of travel over here by that point it's not super dark in the center of my forehead anymore now it's time for blush i'm going to be using another lovecraft beauty palette this is the blush palette i'm going to use the shade alfita um i actually am going to make a video of this i should have did it in january but like if you've watched any of my other videos you know I've been going through a lot um, which is why my videos aren't coming out very regularly as regularly as I'd like them to it's okay we're working through it I don't have that many subscribers but I do appreciate the ones that are still here um, but I would like to do like a no waste year and try to get which I've already messed up I've already messed up because I bought things that I didn't need to buy but I bought them but it doesn't matter because I really do want to get through some of this stuff. By the end of this year, I'd like to go through my collection and kind of get rid of some things. Some things I'll never get rid of because they have, you know, like personal value to them. But some of them don't. And I do need to kind of get rid of them because I'd like to start getting BoxyCharm again. But I don't, I feel like I have so much makeup. And like, I know I can like disinfect it and give it to my friends and stuff. So it is gonna be used. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kinda go under my eyes and just to give myself a little bit of a summery look because I'm tired of winter. So tired of it. I'm so pale. Okay. The next thing to do, all right, back to the eyes. I'm going to be using 
the little mini brush in the shade infatuated again and I'm just gonna go underneath and I'm gonna kind of go around this I'm just gonna make it super smoky because I can mainly mainly the only reason is because I can I'm gonna take this brush I'm gonna go back over just blend out the edge I'm going to take the shade major spotlight and I'm just gonna take a little mini brush get black on you that would have been bad I'm gonna put it in my inner corner so take this guy this is from Mayron Paradise palette I just use it for my inner corner because I have other brushes when I use my paint palette all right I'm gonna come back with some mascara and lashes on be right back I'm back. I did my lashes and my brows. I used random lashes. I have no idea what the lashes are, but I used Maybelline Great Lash. I used Pears Translucent Soap for my eyebrows, and I used the Trezik Eyebrow Gel. Now I'm going to use the e.l.f. and Tovlo Electric Mood like Balm Highlighter. I love this highlighter. This is my favorite highlighter I've ever owned in my life. It was so cheap and it stays on all day and it doesn't mess my makeup up underneath. And I can get like, I can do a lot, I can do a little. It's all good. Okay. Sorry, had to adjust the camera. I apologize. This is the House Labs RIP lip liner in the shade Endpoint. This is really light peach, I guess. Sorry. It's not wanting to stay up today. Okay, so hopefully it stays up now. It's at a higher, like, elevation. Okay, that door shut. Just making sure it's, it's leveled higher. It's kind of pointing at my face different, but it's okay. So... I use this highlighter. I'm using the Endpoint liner for my lips. I've been having trouble after trouble after trouble trying to film this today. I'm going to use the Sailor Moon lip gloss from ColourPop in the shade Sailor Moon, which is just a really nice kind of glossy pink. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. This is what we came up with. Um, I have complete intentions on doing more videos. I have another video that I plan to film this weekend and it'll go up next week. I also have a bag full of months since, I don't know, December of stuff it's still getting filled up but my empties video will come probably sometime at the end of february beginning of march so thank you guys so much like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye